Hello everybody and welcome back to some more Omega Pixelmon. My name is Dave, I'll be your host for this episode as always. Uh, we're starting the day with having a look at some electrikes. Apparently uh, my hunt has some in them. I just locked on. Um, so first things first, I might sound like I'm a little under the weather today. Um, we had one warm spring day uh, in Germany. And nature is going wild. Uh, my my hay fever and allergies are just through the roof. So I don't actually have a cold, but um, I sound like it and I kind of feel like it. But, you know, whatever. Ooh, there we are. We have received two vote crate keys. I didn't didn't even check which um, poke that electric was, but I guess it was this one, the normal one. Yeah, we got the... 10 great balls. I think that was the first time that I have completed a hunt that was not the easy one. Cool. Hey, now we're off to a good start. Today we will catch some more Pokemon, some more important Pokemon. I have chosen two more pokes for my team. And I gotta tell you, I am not sure whether or not they're a good Pokemon. Um, I am excited about them. One of those Pokemon is one of my favorite Pokemon just in general, and the other Pokemon is a Poke I've never used, but it knows False Swipe. Or we can give it False Swipe, um, which will be really handy for, you know, everyday use. Probably not the best move uh, if we actually want to use it um, in fighting situations, but who knows, maybe we'll just get two of them. Yeah, uh, I'm not a not, uh, Pokemon expert, so um, we'll, we'll see how it goes. The first poke should be fairly easy to get. What we want to do is a slash BRTP and move ourselves into... Um, there's several different biomes that we can choose. I think a taiga will work. Um, a taiga during daytime, dusk or dawn, I think. Uh, all of that is okay, so we are within that range. Now we'll have a look around, and probably within a fairly short while, I will get bored and go to Ultra Space instead, where apparently there's one of these 10 things going off. So I've heard that these sometimes randomly just appear and happen, and apparently I teleported right next to one of those. Um, it looks like we can probably do this by ourselves, so we'll start solo. Um, with our Skeledurge, we got a Poison Buck Pokemon, um, the Venonat. I'm pretty sure we can just do that. Uh, we got a Magikarp <laughs> with us. Oh, um, yeah, we'll do a uh, Torch Song against the Venonat. Uh-huh, uh, Venonat uses Psybeam, Magikarp is gone. Okay. Uh, fail, Venonat uses Psychic. We are drowsy. Okay, we attacked it. Down to half. Torkoal uses flamethrower. It's uh taking some more damage. Oh, it's it's burning. Perfect. Uh, we'll do torch song once again against it. We click through all the messages and it is gone. Dynite ore and amethyst. Um, do we catch it? I mean, we might as well. It's just a vanonet. It's not what we're here for. We might as well. There we are. I teleported to Ultra Jungle because um, the Pokemon we're looking for can spawn here as well. And I thought maybe we have different daytimes. It is nighttime currently in uh, the overworld, so I thought maybe if I come over to Ultra Space, it will be daytime, but no. No such luck. And once we make it to an actual jungle, during daytime, there is our execute. The Pokemon that we are after. Yeah, we are adding an executor to our team. But not just any old executor, it will be an Alola executor. Which is just one of the best looking Pokemon in general. I didn't check the growth of this one. Um. <laughs> uh, look at that. Um, let's get rid of Litsy for now, I guess. Uh, yeah, <laughs> uh, this Pokemon is so cool. Yeah, so, um, we'll have an Executor, uh, currently in our team with the Skeldurge, Saraptor, the Alolan Geodude, and the Hippowdon. We have an issue with water types, um, water type attacks. Now we have a Grass Dragon type Pokemon in our team that will be able to take care of that. 
just a little bit better. So, um, the ability of this one is Frisk. I don't know what the other ability is. That's special attack up. I don't know if that's what we want. Defense down, generally not a good one. But, um, yeah, say hello to our newest team member, Executor. <laughs> I just love how derpy this poke looks. It's so big. It's stupid. I like it. I like it. Two Alolas on our team. While looking for the Executor, there was a Yanma that spawned on me in the um, in the jungle. And it was part of the hunt, so I caught that one. And apparently that one was not the easy hunt uh, either. I got a rare, rare crate key for this one. Which means it must have been the hard, um, the hard hunt, even. Wow. That's pretty cool. So, I would say, we'll head over to spawn and see what's behind key number one. As well as our vote crate keys and a shiny crate key and one more rare crate. Shall we? Um, that way. First off, rare crate. Alright, what do we get? A rare pickaxe. These are useless. Alright, uh, whatever. Let's open our vote crates, see what we get. Some Pokebuilder tokens. Two berries. Some Pokebuilder tokens. Some Pokebuilder tokens. One orb. Some Pokebuilder tokens. One pickaxe. A pair of shears. I gotta be honest, um, that, that was pretty good though. Uh, we got a lot of um, Poke Builder tokens from that. I think they rebalanced all the crates. Um, I don't know if they just put more tokens into that, but hey, I, I appreciate it. That, that, that was really good. Um, let's open up another rare crate key, and then we'll have a look at the shiny crate and see what kind of Pokemon we get. Hey, wouldn't it be funny if we would get the other Pokemon that I want for our team? Oh, hey, Poke Builder tokens. Um, yeah, if, you wanna, if we get the other Poke from from this crate right now wouldn't that be funny see i'm saying that just in case it happens it sounds like i knew it, it didn't happen uh i'm not looking for a shiny zangoose um hey we have one now can we throw that one out Ooh, it's blue instead of red okay okay Cool. Let's help somebody out with uh, evolving a Pokemon. A uh, Swirlix, it seems. You might know on a Ras from the Vintage Craft server. We're actually neighbors uh, on, on that server. Um, oh, first time on the server for them. And already got a shiny Swirlix. Um, nice little house. Uh, living in a Taiga, it seems. Oh my god. Hey, you look like, you look like cake. I like cake. Is that a cherry on top? But while we're here, uh, I wanted to evolve my Ekans last time, and I couldn't because um, I couldn't throw it out. As it turns out, they did some rebalancing with normal type Pokemon spawning around the gyms and in spawn. And a side effect of that is that we can no longer throw out these Pokemon at spawn or at the gyms, apparently. Um, so yeah, that's why I couldn't evolve it last time, but we wanted to have... Oh, hi. Uh, I'll, I'll catch that one. Uh, just, 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 just to check. Yeah, because of that, we couldn't, uh, evolve our Ekans over at spawn last time. Um, I really just want to see what the shiny evolution of it looks like. So, let's just, uh, evolve it over here and check it out. Your Ekans evolved into an Arbuckland's Crunch. Very nice. Ooh... Golden Snake. Hey, honestly, that's a cool shiny. I like it. I like it. Very cool. Very cool. But now let's go into the cold winter land of the snowy tiger and catch ourselves a Sneasel. Uh, I think this Pokemon is very fitting for right now with how I'm feeling. Um, I'm, I'm sneezing a lot today, I'll tell you that. Uh, but yeah, I want to have a Weevil. In my team, that will be the sixth Pokemon to complete the team. Dark and Ice type. I think that will come in very handy. Uh, I think that's very good typing for what we need in our team currently. It's a Pokemon I have never used before. And it can actually learn um, False Swipe. 
But as I've said before, False Swipe is probably not the best attack to give it if we actually want to use it in our fighting team. But for now, um, that's what we'll do. The Sneasel we got is a Quiet Nature, which means speed down, which is awful. Uh, I think this is the exact opposite of what we want. We probably want speed up and special attack down. Or maybe we want attack up and special attack down. I'm not quite sure. Uh, this one is a uh, huge growth. And it has inner focus, so it, ca it cannot flinch. Now, in order to evolve it, I think all we gotta do is give it a Razor Claw and then level it up once. And I know a day with a few rare candies, so we'll just use one of these. There you go, Sneasel. Uh-huh. That didn't work, wait. I definitely read every part of that description. Uh, we gotta level it up during nighttime. Uh, there we are. Hey, we actually get to watch an evolution for once. Look at that. I gotta be honest. That's still not a good animation. <laughs> not, not really. Well, hey, that's a cool looking Pokemon. We now got a Weavile. Weevil? I don't know what the name is. Uh, Weavile. Oh, Weavile. Yeah, so, um, this is our current full team. A Skeledurge. We got Fire and Ghost. We got a Normal and Flying type Star Raptor. We got a Rock and Electric type Alola Golem. We got a Ground type Hippowdon. We got a Grass Dragon Alolan Executor. And we got a Dark Eyes Weavile. Ooh. I think, typing wise, we got pretty good coverage. I don't think there's any big uh, problems that we have here. I am a little concerned about um, any fire type pokes that no skull, so a mix of fire and water in one package. That would be a problem for us, I think. Um, though it's not too bad anymore. I think we've we've managed our way around that a little bit. So now we gotta try to figure out some cool movesets for these pokes. And then, eventually, we can probably have a fight with it. So, now that we have caught some Pokemon, let's talk about some changes they have made to the server since I last played. There's a few things that I would like to talk about. Number one, uh, really quick, um, that just was a wood party, so we got some more crates that will open. And I have obtained a texture crate key, because there are new textures for a certain type of Pokemon. Crystalline forms, apparently, have been added to that crate. And we'll try our hands and try and see if we can get one, because... They, they look kind of cool. Uh, yeah, but we'll do that later. For now, uh, here's what I want to check out. If we do slash warp training, we'll uh, enter uh, this place at spawn. Oh, it's over, over in this corner. Um, and over here, we can um, level up our Pokemon by fighting trainers that do not fight back. I don't know if we need to... Um, well, I, I think they don't fight back. I don't know if we need to... Um, pay for these, or how that works. Let's start with the uncommon one. Um, I want to train our Weavile, because it's our newest one. So, let's, uh, just right, right click, no? Uh, do we throw out the Pokemon? Aha! And they have a Blizzy. Ooh. So, Blizzy is the Pokemon that gives the most amount of XP when you, uh, defeat it. Now, our Weavile only knows Scratch. Um... See. Okay, it did Tail Whip, so I wonder if it will actually fight back or not. It might not. It might just be stuck doing Tail Whip this whole time. Which means... Uh, we'll, we'll spend some time. I'll, I'll click the thing. And we'll see how many levels we can get for our Weavile. Both our Weavile and our Lola Secutor have the... Um, the Lucky Egg. So they will give... They will get... Extra XP. The the Blizzy actually killed my Weavile. Um, it did. <laughs> it did tail up so much that it ran out of PP and struggled and just killed it. I don't think that's supposed to happen. Um, that's my bad, to be exact. Uh, let's send out Skilldurge and just um, Torch Song and get rid of it. <laughs> oh boy. Uh, let's see, our exec executor did get like 7,500 XP, so this is still a really, really good way of um, leveling up. Let's uh, run through these, and then, actually, do I have, 
like a revive or something like that on me? I don't think I do. No. Can I... Can I run? I think I can only fight these once a day. Yeah, let's, let's, let's just keep going. Whatever. That's so much XP. Ooh, learn double edge. I like double edge. Um, I like all of those moves though. Uh, so not, not, not yet. Not yet. Let's see one more. Okay. Um, we have done ten torch songs, so our special attack will be extremely high now. Uh, let's just bite our way through here. Though Bite is not a special attack move, it's a physical type attack, uh, so that doesn't really work. We can do Overheat, I guess. Blissey is part normal type, right? So Hex doesn't work? Yeah, Hex doesn't work. So we've got to do Overheat. Alright, there we are. Uh, let, let's seal back up. That was good. That was good. We did a lot of, a lot of leveling. Our Alola Executor leveled up like, what, 15 levels or something like that? That's pretty sweet. We can go and fight the uh, other trainer now, um, however. So I'll go ahead and do that and also make sure our Weavile gets some levels. These Blissies are level 90. So we have defeated that trainer as well. And our uh, Weavile went up to level 41. Wow. And we can even still fight the epic boss, which will be even more XP. Level 105 Blissies. Oh boy, let's go. That was awesome. Weavi level 52, Executor level 51. Um, everything has leveled up quite a bit. Our Skeleturge is now level 80. Wow, that's pretty sweet. Um, and I just battled all of these ones. Obviously, um, the uncommon, the rare, and the epic bus type, uh, what that means is how many how many levels their Pokemon are above the highest poke level that, that you got, right? So in our case, our level 80 Skeledurge is what determines how high a level our um, opposing Blissies are in this case. And if our Skeledurge would be level 100, um, we would have gotten even more XP. So yeah, this is... This is super useful. That's that's a really cool addition. I, I really like it. There's another addition that I really like next to the um, crystalline forms that, we'll, uh, that we might get in just a second. There now is the daily boost command. So we can do a slash daily boost once a day and it will give us a three hour boost for a different thing each day. So each day of the week, there's a different thing that we can boost with the slash daily boost command. And we'll get a three hour boost for that certain thing um, for the day. So on Monday, for example, if we do slash daily boost, we will get a three hour boost for shiny Pokemon. On Tuesday, hidden abilities. On Wednesday for XP. Ooh, we gotta come here again on, on Wednesday and do a boost and then fight the Blizzies when our Skeletor is level 100. Ooh, that sounds fun. Thursday will be more bus Pokemon. Friday, more shiny Pokemon. Saturday and Sunday, more legendaries, I think is how that works. Is that how legendaries spawn, though? I'm not quite sure how that one will work. But yeah, um, there is now boosters on the server as well next to the... Uh, uh, training bit that we have seen over here and the crystalline forms. That's really cool. It really seems like they are adding features faster than I can talk about them. There's just always something to do on the server. Every time you log on there, you don't even need to have a plan. You just log on and there's something to do. That's, that's really cool. All right, let's open the textures crate for the first time ever. After we've opened the other crates uh, that we got from the vote uh, crate key, from the vote party even, um, we'll do them in order. So, rare crate first. We got an axe. Uh, okay. Uh, we'll take that. Master crate key next. Three random TMs. Okay, that can be good. Drain punch, shadow claw, and solar beam. Okay, that's pretty cool. We got a shiny crate, which gives us a shiny roly coly. Okay, that that's that's actually a Pokemon I'm surprisingly excited about. Hey, that that sounds cool. 
That whole line of evolution is uh, something I haven't used yet at all. Uh, but it looks really sweet. Oh, okay. I think I like the red more, to be quite honest, but... That's cool to have. I wonder what the evolutions of that one will look like. But now... The big one. So if we look in here into the uh, texture crate of the, the things that we can get, there are amethyst um, versions now next to the rainbow and crystal and zombie pokes. There's zombie ditto. Oh, times one twice by amethyst raindrops. Okay. That's a cool one. Wow. Okay. Some of these just haven't been won yet, like the Topaz Solgaleo. I wonder what we'll get. Will we get that one? Probably not. Uh, let's open it. Ooh, special texture. Special texture Pokemon. What, what do we get? We get a, a gloom. A pink gloom. Okay. That is not what I was after. <laughs> but, but sure. Let's have a look at it. Oh, hey. That actually looks better than I thought. That's a really cool detail texture. I really like the shading on it. Hey, that's that's really cool. I'm I'm actually surprised. I like that way more than I thought I would. You just never know what this um this mod has in store for you, the Pixelmon mod has, and you never know what the server has in store for you. Um it has another thing in store for me, like two more shiny crate keys. Thank you very much, just for logging on. This is just a, the things that you get for playing for free on the server. And I don't know about you, but I think for free is a great deal. There's one last thing that I want to do. Um, a thing that I've been waiting to do for quite a while now. We'll quickly run around and we'll defeat some Pokemon to get some XP. Like, XP ourselves, not just our Pokemon. This Patrat should be the last one that we need. Oh, did you hear that? We have just leveled up to level 30. Finally. You know what that means? Well, that means we can go into here, get our uh, lapis and a diamond pickaxe, and look at that. Silk touch. Silk touch pickaxe. We can put that... We can combine that with this one. Um, I'm pretty sure if we have an animal somewhere. Like we do over here, and look at that. Silk Touch, efficiency for unbreaking two. Wait, that's not the one. Uh, that one. Yeah, Silk Touch, efficiency five, unbreaking three. It does not give us the unbreaking five, though. That's too bad. Uh, that is too bad. Uh, but yeah, unbreaking three, that, that, that's good enough. The efficiency five is really something that I'm excited about. And Silk Touch. Finally, we have Silk Touch on a thing. I'm really excited about that. Can we get Silk Touch on a book? That is really what I'd be excited about. Um, punch two. So, no. I might go ahead and re-roll some more. Some more books, some more enchants in the future. But for now, it is time for us to end the episode. What do you think about our newly completed team? Um, are you excited about it? The Executor and the Wee Wild. Do you think those are good additions? I'm quite happy with them, to be quite honest. I think this is a decent team, but I'm an idiot, so I don't know. <laughs> so all you Pokemon team people, um, did, did I make good decisions here? Uh, I don't know. Uh, you gotta tell me. Um, also, tell me if you have any good movesets in mind. I also haven't really worried about abilities or natures yet. Natures will be fairly easy, though. We can just buy uh, the mints from... Um, the shop, so that should be no issue. Anyway, let me know what you think. I hope you enjoyed the episode. Hope you check back with me next time, next episode video stream, whatever that will be. And until then, see ya.